Is the U.S. president currently making a trade-off of human lives for the economy? There is a question posted recently that is including a lot of assumptions, including the U.S. president is currently making a trade-off of human lives for the economy. Or, Trump's pro-economy death permissive stance during the COVID-19 crisis. What are the facts backing this claim? I can't speak for Rebecca's judgment in interpreting those words of Trump, but for instance a NYT article says, Our people want to return to work, Mr. Trump declared Tuesday on Twitter, adding, The cure cannot be worse by far than the problem. In essence, he was raising an issue that economists have long grappled with, how can a society assess the trade-off between economic well-being and health? Quote, We put a lot of weight on saving lives said Casey Mulligan, a University of Chicago economist who spent a year as chief economist on Mr. Trump's Council of Economic Advisors. But it's not the only consideration. That's why we don't shut down the economy every flu season. They're ignoring the costs of what they're doing. They also have very little clue how many lives they're saving. Making people poorer has health consequences as well, said Kip Viscusi, an economist at Vanderbilt University who has spent his career using economic techniques to assess the costs and benefits of government regulations. Jobless people sometimes commit suicide. The poor are likelier to die if they get sick. Mr. Viscusi estimates that across the population, every loss of income of $100 million in the economy causes one additional death. Government agencies calculate these trade-offs regularly. The Environmental Protection Agency, for instance, has established a cost of about $9.5 million per life saved as a benchmark for determining whether to clean up a toxic waste site. Other agencies use similar values to assess whether to invest in reducing accidents at an intersection or to tighten safety standards in a workplace. The Department of Agriculture has a calculator to estimate the economic costs, medical care, premature deaths, productivity loss from non-fatal cases, of food-borne disease. So, the argument in there is that governments always make such trade-offs, choices, whether they are incredibly open about them or less so.